Hi there! Today I'm going to show you guys how you can put together your very own Frida from the movie Coco cosplay. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I loved her character in it because she was so sassy and sometimes she even stole the show. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to cosplay her and I'm going to show you guys how you can do it too. First, we're gonna start off with the Frida crop top shirt and I couldn't find anything similar to it. I tried Amazon and Goodwill and nothing was coming up. So I decided I'm gonna have to make it from scratch. I'm having my mother-in-law help me with the sewing process. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I found out that I did not cut it the right way. She knows better than me, so she's teaching me how to do it. I went to my local fabric store where I bought orange and yellow fabric that looks similar to her shirt. And on Amazon, I bought a McCall's sewing pattern that is a crop top shape that looks just like hers. Do you think that's a better size? I <laughs> have to lose weight in like two days <laughs> because this is the biggest size that the template had. Okay, I hope it fits. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I only had one week to finish this cosplay. So as you guys know, I really suck at sewing, but fortunately I had my suegra help me out, put it all together, or else I feel like it would have looked really, really bad. It's my first stitch. A little crooked, but it looks good. Yeah. I just finished my Frida shirt, which took me three days to sew with the things of my mother-in-law and I did all the little, you know, trim and everything else, but I finally finished and it's a little crooked, like the hems are not like straight and everything, but it was my first sewing job, so go easy on me. One tip I have for you is do not draw your designs at two o'clock in the morning like I did because I was just starting to draw triangles all over the place and it was not looking like the reference photo I had. As for the monkey papaya, which is gonna go on my shoulder, Jose decided that he wanted to do it because he loves to paint and sculpt. We knew this was gonna be a challenge, but thankfully we found a cosplayer named A Little Android who made a paper mache monkey and we just followed her tutorial. You can find her Instagram in the description. What we need to do is make sure that it's going to be shaped to Tana's back. Using wire, you shape the limbs and the tail and you layer on foil so that it starts to take shape. I've been working on this for a good two hours now. I just need one more leg. So it starts off like that. You get foil and just put it over, make a little foot that way. And you got a little foot. <laughs> Something like this once you start putting layers and layers of foil till eventually it turns into that. Poke a little hole, you want to do like sideways a little bit. The wire makes it easy to move around the limbs where you need them. Once you got it in place, you just have to get some hot glue and make sure it's stuck on there. I just noticed, look it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I messed up and I made this like a lot higher than this one. Yeah, I can still take it out. It's okay. Now it's even. <laughs> now he doesn't look this warm. Now the sculpture is complete. I just have one more step, which is to put paper mache all around it. Actually, two more steps. I'm going to have to paint it as well. And to make it official. <laughs> so we got my dad helping me out with cutting up the newspaper. To do the paper mache, we're using a glue and water recipe that we found online. And you grab the newspaper, you dip it in the mix, and you start to layer it up. Here we have my mummified monkey. The newspaper has covered all the aluminum foil, and I even added these little spikes here, like uh, like the one in the, in the movie Coco. I'm gonna start putting a base coat on my monkey with this gesso paint. It acts as a primer so you could easily paint over it. It also helps harden the paper mache so everything stays into place. To get the full instructions on how to do everything on this video, check out the link in the description. No! My monkey! So it wouldn't touch the ground, I guess it like flipped over and fell. Right. And now it has a crack right here. Thankfully, hot glue fixes everything. And now for my favorite part, painting. And this is the part that brings papaya to life. As for Frida's hair, I had to use a black wig because as you can tell, I have blue hair. However, I didn't store that wig properly from my last cosplay, so her hair was all over the place and it took me twice as long to braid it. So you know how I'm gonna have to hang the changuito on my shoulder? I'm gonna place these command hooks on my shirt and there's picture hooks on the actual monkey, so he's just gonna hang right here. 
Hey, get off the table. The last thing that's gonna bring the whole Frida look to life is the face paint. Thankfully, Jose and my sister Gabby offered to do the face paint and the eyebrows, which my sister used some MAC Urban Decay or something makeup palette for those eyebrows. I got my skeleton suit from Amazon, my skirt from Goodwill, and now I am Frida Kahlo from Coco. Now it's time to go to Frida's birthday party, which was thrown on by the Phoenix Fridas, which I'm also a member of. Other than creating these cosplays, my favorite part is seeing people's eyes light up when they see me and they see a character that they really love from a movie come to life. I really loved how my familia all came together and helped me with this cosplay and it really reminded me of Miguel in the movie and how his family helped him. Thank you Amy for the comment of the day and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!